What's this? Another graveyard? Oh, of course it is. Oh, seriously? How are you not used to this by now? If you've seen one ghoul-ridden deathscape, you've seen them all. I suppose you have something of a point. Fine. Let's press on. Actually, it looks like this place is full of necro-dragons. So that's new. myself. today. We're 
done here. your soul is offered up to Lord Duma, our aims will be realized. Surely there is no call for needless struggle? This way, your highness. I... Guess what, pal? I don't care what kind of wacko nonsense you're spouting. I won't let you lay a finger on Celica. <laughs> the buzzing of ignorant flies is so very vexing. Perhaps the jaws of my necro dragons will silence your interruptions. I can handle this. Leave them to me. At your service.
stand up for myself. myself.
good. You want it? You got it. At your service. I'm unstoppable. Okay, I got this. Hmm, someone's eager. I can handle this. Leave them to me. I'm 
feeling rough. Go! 
せば。Come to Duma's side. What's wrong with you, lass? Run! Don't be a crazy person, Celica. You can't let him take you. Silence. <laughs> Stop! Leave them alone. Please, I'll do whatever you ask. Lady, no! You've made a wise decision, Your Highness. Now come, aunties. <laughs> Don't go, Selica. You can't, Selica. What? You. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Would you so easily cast your life aside? I. That's not. My choices are not your matter, sir. Not my matter. You have aided me more than once, and I am grateful for it. But who are you to presume to know better how I might spend my life? What could you possibly know about me, Selica? What's going on? It's not like you to act out like this. Nothing is going on, May. Please just leave me alone. None of you can possibly know what I'm feeling, Selica. That's not fair. That's not true, Selica. I know, as only a brother can. <gasps> What? It's been a long time, huh, sis? You? But that's Conrad. I don't know how, but. Is it really you? I was certain you were dead. I managed to escape the night they burned the villa. Some of the attendants led me to safety. From there, I fled straight to Regal, my mother's home. Desai's reach is long, but even he couldn't follow me into the empire. I should hate you for letting me mourn all this time, and yet I'm so happy. But how did you come to possess my circlet? It was entrusted to me. I had orders to pass it on to you once you grew into your role. Entrusted by who? Sorry, but I swore an oath never to reveal that information. Once I received it, however, I learned you'd left the island. I was so worried about you, I decided to follow and make sure you were safe. I never wanted to lie to you, but well, you weren't the only one in hiding. Oh, <laughs> so that's why you wore the mask? Well, it is rather dashing, isn't it? You think that thing is me? He's Selica's older brother. You know, royalty. Oh right. Sorry, but man, he sure is a lot less moody once that mask comes off, huh? He's like a completely different guy. Almost as if he pretends to be someone else while in disguise. Imagine that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. I actually hadn't intended to reveal myself at all. Halcyon, who looked after me at the Sage's Hamlet, made me swear not to. I'll have to work on my apology before I go back there. He's right, though. The most dangerous thing I could be is not dead. But after watching you, I couldn't listen to you speak as if you were all alone in the world. It drove a knife right through my heart. Conrad, I'm so sorry. Please don't apologize. I understand. I watched you come this far. After all, I saw you bear the weight of the world by yourself as Sophia's crown princess. But from this point on, I'd like to share that burden with you. I'll be at your side and protect you with my life. But you have to promise me something first. Don't ever try to throw your life away like that again. You're right. 
I'm sorry, Conrad. Celica, I'm glad to see you safe, child. Noma? What in the world are you doing here? Not to put too fine a point on it, but I was worried about you. I followed you as far as this temple, but this place is just so large. I'm embarrassed to say I got a bit lost, little one. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm glad to see you in good spirits nonetheless. Perhaps we'd both enjoy more peace of mind if we stayed together. Might I travel with you from here on? Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings, aunties. You're looking lovely today, as usual. <laughs> no need to be bashful. I merely speak the truth. Growing up at the villa, you always were my favorite sibling. Small wonder. What with my mother being Regelian, the other siblings and their mothers always kept me at arm's length. But you and Liprico were always kind to me, and I appreciated it. You don't look thrilled. I'm sorry. Is it hard hearing stories of the past? I understand why you'd feel that way. But I've been in hiding ever since. For me, memories of you from the villa are some of my only happy ones. someone you fancy? <laughs> oh, there's no need to be so flustered. It's just us girls here. It can't hurt to talk about boys now and again. Hmm? What about me? Well, I wouldn't say there's no one. Though I expect I'll take my feelings with me into the cold earth. Giving voice to them would only hurt those who I hold most dear. Thank you. 
This marks the entrance to the Lost Treescape, the Sage's Hamlet, where Halcyon lives, lies within. I've heard it said a curious power is at work in these woods, and that the trees themselves conspire to hide the path to the Hamlet. I'm grateful we have you to lead the way. So then, brother, which way do we head first? Uh, yeah. See, this was actually my first time leaving the woods alone, and I'm not exactly sure how to, you know, get back. But hey, adventure! We'll just find the path together. Yes, adventure! Shall we get started then? This wood is thick and dark, and plays havoc with one's sense of direction. Stone pillars stand as sentinels, keeping watch over our intrusion. muscular.
ready anytime. I'll handle this myself. All right, I'll handle this. I'm glad you're on my side. <laughs> Feeling good. Too muscular. We have to get better. Growing up, I had two older sisters. The eldest was stern, but deeply kind. The middle one was smart and mature, and also marched to her own beat. The three of us were inseparable back at the Priory. We waited for our father to come get us, yet knew the day would never come. <sighs> but that was a lifetime ago, and they're both gone now.
damn fine work. You want it? You got it. Stronger to you? I do, right? Same to the next. I'll bow him down. <laughs> Feeling good. Apparently, I can get even stronger. I'll handle this myself. I should leave the rest to you. Let us proceed. I can feel the warmth of Mila's blessing. I'm ready to roll. I'm at the top of my... You want it? You got it. Hey, 
Jenny. Oh, um... Hello, Sonia. Still not comfortable around me? Not completely, no. I'm sorry. It's all right. But I wanted to share something with you. I also grew up in a priory. Although it was my father who abandoned me. Is that true? Yes. And if I met a man who reminded me of him, I'd likely kick his face in. Fortunately, you don't come across those types too often. Anyway, my point is that you don't have to hold back with me. You're free to hate my guts as much as you like. Because I understand. No, actually, I... Um, I feel a little more comfortable after hearing what you said. Oh, that was quick. Well, in that case, I suppose we can be bitter together. <laughs> <laughs> I feel calmer. Like I can see what the enemy is planning. There's a good little soldier. I'll handle this myself. Ready anytime. I'll mow him down. Let us proceed. All right, I'll handle this. <laughs> Leave the heavy lifting to me. My hero. <laughs> Feeling good. You want it? You got it. Saber? So, have you thought about what you're going to do once this job's over? Of course I have. I'll just pick up and go looking for the next one. Yeah? Hmm, seems like kind of a waste if you ask me. Selica's the type who'd find you a good post once she's in charge, you know. Do I seem like some kind of royal court kiss up to you? I just hope she don't make the world too peaceful and put me out of work. Huh. That's, uh... Quite a thing to hope for.
We're almost to Duma Tower and the end of our travels. It's been a rough journey, but I'm still kind of sad to see it end. I always thought my whole life would pass without me ever leaving the island. But I've gotten to experience so much, and for that, I'm thankful. I hope you'll let me stay by your side to the bitter end. My family? Oof. It's been forever since I've seen them, honestly. They were... strict, I guess you'd call it. Do this, wear that, stop being friends with whomever. I got fed up and took off. I guess some folks just need to live by that kind of tight framework. Me reeling against that wasn't going to make anyone happy, you know? So I figure I'll find my own place where I can live in a way that does. This place is called the Sage's Hamlet. The great sage Halcyon's magic shields us from evil. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him at his home. Jedha? I urge you to reconsider. He's a terrifying man. If you must fight him, there's only one way. Four. Eight. Twelve. It, it hurts! Jedha's curse! Conrad's mother was of Regalian noble birth. She was forced to wed the King of Zofia in order to procure food for Regal. Can you imagine such a fate? My blood boils to even think of it. Many thanks.
This whole area has been tainted. The legacy of Dolphin Garcia's wicked experiments. I had always thought Emperor Rudolph a wise man, but only a fool would suffer the abuses of the Duma faithful to grow so bold. If I'm honest, I'm cheering for Zofia's deliverance in all this. Halcyon was once a priest of the Duma faithful. There, he struggled against Jeddah, who sought to rule by force and terror. But in the end, he was driven out. This place has been his hermitage ever since. Hello there. Halcyon, sir? I'm... Ah, Selica, child of fate. I'm glad you've come. Child of fate? You're not the first to call me that. But I have no idea where my fate lies. Please, Halcyon, grant me guidance. Tell me what fate holds for me. I'm so lost. I don't know what to do. I know you have suffered much along the path here, Selica. But I fear I can no more of anyone's fate than you do. What I do can, however, is this. Two things exist to guide you. One is the brand you bear. The other is your soul's pair with the self-same mark. The self-same? Do you mean Om? Indeed. Why were you born with the brand? And why are there two of you? These are the questions you must consider. And always remember that you are not alone. Right. Thank you, Sage Halcyon. Of course, child. But while I cannot read the future, my magic may yet assist you. If there is anything you wish for, tell me. I... I wish nothing for myself, but I am worried for Ohm. Please, if such a thing is possible, use your powers to help him. The other child of fate? Yours is a generous heart. Very well. <gasps> what just happened? I sent my powers on to Ohm. With them. He will be able to draw on new strength beyond himself. He need only will for it. Oh, thank you, Halcyon. Tell me, Salika, do you wish to see Alm? What? Well, of course I do, but I doubt Alm is eager to see me. I said terrible things to him when we last parted. <laughs> The fire of youth at work. All the more reason to meet and speak again, no? I can send you to him if you desire it. Not your physical form, but a projection of your mind. Enough to speak, at least. Is that really possible? It is. Close your eyes, child. I I heard my name. Oh, it's me. It's Selica. Selica? How are you here? Actually, where are you? Come out already! Oh, um, I can't believe I actually have this chance. Selica! Is this... just an illusion? Is it really you? Yes, it's me! Sage Halcyon's magic is allowing me to speak with you. Oh, I've missed you so much. I'm happy to see you too. Um, listen, I... <laughs> I... Whoa, 
what's wrong? Celica? Did something happen? Are things not going as well as you'd hoped? Ugh, I wish you were here in person. I don't know what to... Please don't cry. You're not angry? I said such terrible things to you back at the castle. Huh? Wait, that's been bothering you? I mean, sure, I was sad you didn't seem to see my side of things. But I'd never get mad at you. Why not? Why not? You sure do like putting me on the spot. Didn't we have a similar conversation years ago? <laughs> I suppose we did. You were always so nice to me while I... While I'm always thinking only of myself. I'm sorry, Om. Celica, what's wrong? I finally remembered why I left the island in the first place. I'm going to see Duma. What? No! Celica, the Duma faithful are... It's too dangerous! There's no telling what they'll do to you! Even so, I have to go. Mela wasn't in her temple, Om. Huh? What does that mean? Emperor Rudolph attacked. She's being held captive in Duma Tower. That must be the reason why Sophia's land has gone barren. No. The Emperor? And that's why I must go. I have to free Mila. I'm the only one who can. Wait, Celica. I finally figured it out, but... You're actually... You're the Princess of Sophia, aren't you? Princess Antis. I am. <laughs> I guess my secret's out. Uh, now I'm cringing at what I said to you before. Talk about thoughtless. Forgive me, Celica. But don't worry. I promise I'll get your kingdom back. So please, promise me in turn that you won't... That's kind of you, Om. But I have to. Just winning this war isn't enough. What? I don't understand. It'll be clear to you soon. I'll do everything I can here. Please, just be safe. Celica? Wait! Celica! Celica! Duma Tower is just ahead. Be well prepared before you go. Many thanks. Till next... Hello. Right. This whole area... Many thanks. Welcome. Many thanks. 